evening folks off on a start to our walk here and we've got kind of a cool opener this is a Malaysian porcupine big fat one and he is gonna be off into the woods there <laughs> anyhow we're just getting to the start of a walk for this week so keep you posted if and when we find anything but I just stumbled upon that guy as I was walking so oh and just up there is a snake shed I would guess probably a common wolf snake but hard to say that's pretty lucky all right it's a positive sign to start so we'll pop out now and check back in if we find anything else of interest All right, folks, we've got our, what I think should be the third snake of the night. Um, I didn't film the others. They were stream snakes, and they were a little bit inaccessible. But here we have a common wolf snake. This has been a pretty prominent character on the vlog uh, for the last couple of videos. I think it's a, a pretty good time of year to be seeing these, obviously. And one of our more common snakes here, very small but pretty interesting. They've all got these reddish brown bodies with the green and yellow modeling and they're semi-fossorial so constantly hunting on the ground. They're actually really good climbers as well and yeah it's been a little bit of a walk without seeing much even though the conditions are quite good so I'm pretty happy to see this guy but we're gonna keep moving on and not mess with him too much and see if we can't come up with something else. I imagine we'll probably find a, a viper. Oh, I did find an injured viper that I released into the woods from uh, the side of a path that I'm walking on here, but um, I didn't think that would be too fun to show. So uh, first snake on the video after the porcupine is a wolf snake. Works for me. Check back in with the next one. Alright everyone, snake number two, and it is another wolf snake. You can see here they're all quite similar in appearance. There's very little significant variation from individual to individual. You can definitely get some slight color shifts and things like that, but they're all pretty similar looking. And they're definitely the most common snake out and about right now. So. Won't spend too much time with him, gonna keep moving, but official snake on the video number two. Okay, folks, a oldie but a goodie. Here we have a little male bamboo pit viper. Again, another more common snake, but they're always fun to see and quite good looking, actually. And this one is set up really pretty on this rock looking for a meal. I've seen some geckos running around, so no doubt that's what he's out looking for. And we've seen one of these in the last couple of videos, so again, I won't spend a huge amount of time, but able to get a nice overhead shot here. You can see the uh, orange on the tail there. You can see how he's set up, push right up against that wall in between these grass clumps, um, set up to strike. He was looking down the rock uh, when I came, and he's, he's picked his head up a little bit because I'm around now, but I think um, he'll probably move on to one of these grass clumps or sit there with his head pointed down again once I leave and try and find himself a gecko so very cool find we're in the last probably third of our walk so hopefully we find a few more of these or something else but nothing else we've got three snakes on video tonight so not bad for a, a dry evening
Okay, bamboo pit viper number two. Another little male sitting up and waiting for a meal as well. You can see the little orange tail wrapped up in the grass there. And yeah, very similar size, very similar objective this evening is the last one I think. So let's keep moving, see if we can find some more. A big female would be kind of nice. See what we can come up with. Evening everyone. Out again. Bit of a slow night so far, but I did manage to come across this whip scorpion, which, or vinegaroon, uh, whatever you want to call them. Um, and this is actually the first live one I've seen in Hong Kong. Uh, so this is pretty cool. I've actually in this area found ones that are desiccated before, but this is the first real up close and personable with a living. Hold on, car coming. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, these guys are pretty cool. Uh, they're called vinegaroons because they can actually smell a bit like vinegar. I think that's a defensive tactic, but they're a predatory arachnid for sure. Nice little pincers somewhere across between a scorpion and a spider. So anyways, interesting start. It's a bit cold again, so we'll, you know, have to get lucky to find a snake tonight, but we'll keep at it and... Evening folks, We're out for another night of herping, and this may look like it's a bad scenario uh, for those of you who are familiar with some of the species in Hong Kong, since this is a black and white striped snake, uh, black and white banded snake, and it's biting me, but this is in fact a Futsing's wolf snake, and it's a juvenile, maybe sub-adult, um, and I made sure that I knew what it was before I picked it up. And in this case, I did it by checking the vertebral scales. Uh, vertebral scales here, you can see possibly, if I can get us close here, are all uniform in size. If this was a many banded crate, they would be enlarged. And generally speaking, the morphology of the snake indicates it's a footsing. So it's got some of that pink coloration, the flat wedge shaped head, and the more jagged saddled bands rather than the smoother ones you'd see on the many banded crate. So like I said, this is a juvenile and we found it just by a stream here. Uh, we also found it next to a couple of other species, a diamondback water snake and a mountain water snake that both got away. They swam down into a pool. So we'll keep an eye out for them as we walk around. Maybe we can get some of them on video as well. But we thought we'd stop and show you the footsings in the meantime. We're going to get back to it, but decent start for the night. We actually just got here, just on our first pass, so might be a good night. Hello, everyone. If you can't tell already, we've got a pretty special treat for you today. This is one of the prettiest sub-adult king cobras I've ever seen and he's brought to us courteous of one of Hong Kong's most prolific snakers a buddy of mine who actually found him right around where we're about to release him here but he was kind enough to let me come by for the release to take some shots and take some video so this is a snake ID TV feature we've not had a king cobra on the videos before so I'll take a, a minute or two to talk about the species this is uh, the largest venomous snake in the world when fully grown. Uh, some of the bigger ones can get upwards of 16 feet, and I think there might be some dubious records of bigger than that. Either way, it's a huge snake when it's fully grown. They eat almost exclusively other snakes, and that actually gives way to their genus name, Ophiophagus, which is, I believe, Greek for snake eater. So these snakes are incredibly intelligent, incredibly fast, and as you can see here, pretty energetic as well. So unlike a lot of other snakes, like Chinese cobras that'll kind of go up in their hood and just go into robot mode, um, these guys actually kind of take assessments of their entire situation. So this one's looking at my buddy on my right, he's looking at me, 
and I can tell he's kind of maybe getting in the mood to dart off into the bushes, which we're going to let him do in a minute anyways, but not before I get some cool video. So I'm not sure how many of these we're going to get to have on the vlog because they're found very rarely here, but this is a real special treat for us today. Let's see if I can get you an overhead. Look how smart he is. Sees me move just a little bit and he's locked on me. Really, really phenomenal snakes. Um, I got hopefully some decent pictures, which maybe I can share in here if I did. If not, I'm not that happy with them, but pretty phenomenal. Big thanks to my buddy here for helping us out. Anybody who's interested as well can go and uh, check out his uh, Facebook page, Hong Kong Snakes. And if you've had any interest in seeing a King Cobra, that's going to be one of your best bets. Look how quick and smart. So we're just going to film this guy for a, a minute or two more, get some behavioral documentation, and then we're going to go ahead and release him. King Cobra. About as good as it gets.